Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Cone here, and welcome back to Baytona in City Skylines. Last time we expanded our little area here so that we could move our our water pumping station away from the poop. And that was a success, even though I did it in all of the wrong ways and spent way too much money doing it. Uh, we ended by putting a windmill in the middle of nowhere, or actually in the middle of somewhere, instead of the middle of nowhere. And we put our cemetery in the middle of nowhere, when in, apparently it should be next to the residential area. Uh, wh what, what's your feelings on this? Like, personally, I don't want to live next to a cemetery. I'm not a very spiritual person, like, I don't really believe in ghosts, or, like, uh, I'm not worried about being haunted. It would certainly be a nice, quiet neighborhood, <laughs> you know, the, you're not gonna have to tell the neighbors to shut up. But, uh... I just don't want to live next to a cemetery. <laughs> this seems a little depressing. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But apparently the City Skylines characters, or whatever they are, seem to enjoy it. Not what I wanted. Uh, I did get the road mods to work. Apparently I just needed to... I uh, just needed to... Oh, that's a one-way. Mm -hmm. A one-lane, one-way. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. That's what I wanted. You upgrade. Yeah, apparently I had to select the mods, so hopefully the other ones are working where it like auto deletes the like, abandoned buildings and what and whatnot. I think that's how it should have been from the beginning. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. There we go. Start to fill in a little bit more residential because I noticed the commercial over here, they apparently don't have enough workers or something like that. I think the industrial was the same way, so obviously we have residential demand. Alright, well let's put this to the test, and this will be a test of uh, how far you can put a residential area away from town. Like, I have all the police stations, the schools, the, you know, the clinics way over here, commercials way over here. Uh, we'll have to see if putting it over here, or I'll have to see, you guys probably know, is too far or not. And we'll put it next to the cemetery for you freaks that like to live next to it. <laughs> also, in the taxes, apparently 11% is as high as you really want to go, but 11% is safe, so we could really safely bump it up to 10 uh, to make up for that income that we're going to be losing from the in industrial zones. People moving in, they like the cemeteries. Huh. That's, that's a little bit weird, guys. Oh, I made that a dirt road? I did. Apparently, I considered, uh, <laughs> I considered the cemetery not important enough to have a paved road. We have some other kind of road on here, too. This is a two-lane plain street. So, no sidewalks, but available parking spaces. Supports local traffic. Let's try that one there. I like that. That seems fitting. Why is there so many fire trucks over here? I don't see no fire. I don't know what you guys are going for. Oh, I forgot the landfill was in there. I'm like, what is this abandoned looking building? Yeah, it's a landfill. How's it doing, by the way? That's what I wanted. Yeah. It is 32% full. Uh oh. Who did I forget to give pipes? Or are we running out of water? Oh, it's you. You. Alright, we'll give you water. Yeah, whiner. This is gonna be a weird pipe system because of this weird road. Um, but that's okay. Looks like we have a little bit of commercial need. I think it's time to probably start expanding this commercial zone downwards. And that should help these people out, get them some access to commercial zones in a little bit of a closer area. So let's do something a little bit different with this one, since we have new stuff available. Wow, that's a small roundabout? That's gigantic! Um... I can connect it to this road and that road. Uh, is there any point for me to have this, or would it only make sense, like, here? Let's, let's not do that. Let's do something else different with this. Y'all's on fire! No wonder it took them so long to get here. The place is on uh, total fire. 
Oh no, the medical clinic is on fire. Well, that's less than ideal. Morons were over the cemetery. Uh, make sure the fire department has good conditions in this area. So that that's probably a sign that it's not. I just got rid of this building. Why is it... Why? Why you do this? Okay, they have put out the clinic. So that's good. All right, so I filled in this land full of plots, and when I say filled, I'm not using, like, every square inch of the land. And that's one of the things that I really wanted to make sure I did with this, this playthrough, is I wanted not to... I'm not trying to play the perfect game of City Skylines. That's that's not my my motivation for this kind of game. I'm, I'm very thematically um, tied in games like this and you guys that follow the automation series will know this like you you can play that game much better than I play the game but I'm more interested in creating my own little storyline in my head uh, rather than than uh, playing to you know the nth degree of fitting every little policy into making the most money and stuff like that the end goal is always the same you're always gonna make a city that's huge makes a lot of money, and then you eventually get bored of it because, you know, it's just, you know, so successful that it, uh, it just takes off and kind of runs itself. So, I like making the little challenges for myself to make it more, maybe realistic, but really more just, like, um, unique, like, just incorrect. Towns are not correct. Nobody, nobody builds perfect towns, so I don't feel the need to do it, uh, to do it in a game. Latest news, Mysteri mysterious cult leader predicts the end of the world again. Hashtag and again. All right, so things are going pretty steadily at the moment, just kind of continually expanding upon demand. Uh, nothing that I'm really planning on building at the moment. Um, low on power again, huh? Wonder if that's... Yeah, I guess it is out of power situation. I was just gonna say that maybe we should look through some of these graphs and see how we're doing. Uh, we're certainly low on power, and I can't afford one of these fancy, fancy advanced wind turbines. And what does it put out? It puts out up to 20 per week versus these were eight. Uh, it is mm, about double the cost, but more than double the output, so I see no reason not to use it. Let's see, in this zone, it would make the full 20, but these have to be on the water. Okay, well, luckily, we have power lines right next to the water, so we can do just that. And apparently, they don't have to be super close. I don't know what kind of range that is. Um, yeah, we'll put it right here along the coast, I do suppose. And let's put it into the poopy side of things, because nobody wants to live there anyway. Nice, okay. And does that give power? Yes, it does. Goodbye, money. All right, so how are we looking on the other things? Water, water, we're just starting to make a dent into that, so not, not too soon. All landfill usage is getting up there. Education is barely acceptable. I don't understand why these guys are so uneducated, but that could be because they just moved in. Yeah, these are definitely houses where people have just moved in, so that's what's affecting that, I think. Happiness. Most everybody's happy. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's your problem? What's your problem? Um, they're just, they're just unhappy. They have no reason why. They're just not happy. They just moved here and they haven't made any friends, I guess. I don't know. Commercial's very happy. Residential, not super happy, but we got these new people in here that are ruining everything. Industrial happiness is off the chart. They're really happy. Like, that looks disturbingly happy. Pretty decent health, just above average. Uh, here's the levels. We've been hearing things level up. Is this one like, oh yeah, it's like a super good commercial. Some nice residential starting to come into here, so that's nice. Traffic, that is one of the things I was worried about. Starting to become a little congested right here. 
I would say within the next uh, the next year or so, we're going to have to look into making this into more of a highway than uh, the separated streets. I think these are still stop signs. Yeah, that's less than ideal. By the way, sirens all the time in this city. We look good on crime and uh, transport we haven't really messed with yet. Land values are starting to get good in here because... <laughs> get good. <laughs> starting to get good in here because of the uh, the denseness of upgraded buildings, I do suppose. And then along the coastline, really good values. So I would like to expand off into here. Ideally, get some residential zones maybe right here. In fact, let's do that. The next time I have a good residential demand, which is almost right now, let's do a little offshoot of this road, uh, continue it along the coast here, and make a little residential zone. Noise pollution, not too bad. We're keeping it away from residential, which is good. These guys, these guys are just never going to shut up about this timber industry. <laughs> it's good, it's bad, it's good, it's bad. All right, so where is that chart again of land values right there? So land values are really good right here, but you can't really build right there because it's too cliffy, but it's really good right here as well. And I think we can indeed. Uh, it's a bit on the wrong side of the road. Eh. That should still be pretty good though. And I think we have water pipes going under there. So I'm just gonna do a few, just like a little block right here. And I'm actually gonna do a little bit of commercial right up here at the corner. Because I feel like we need to make this into its own little town. And we don't want them to have to travel all the way over to the other side of town to get, like, their groceries and stuff. So we'll put in a little bit of commercial right there. Even though demand is, is quite small, hopefully it will fill in. Apparently crime is still good because people are still leaving their freaking keys under flower pots. We have to make a flower pot ban in this town. Alright, they're filling them in. They like them. They like their oceanside houses. I wonder if there's anything I could do with the landscaping right here. I'm going to screw up the power if I do that. Uh, will somebody move into this two little block? Is that something they will do? Or this one? <laughs> I want to see somebody do it. Ooh, those are some fancy looking houses. They must like the land values down here. Nice. All right. That should help bring in some money into the city if I understand the way that works. Good land values will do that. Wow, it's really starting to look like a town, isn't it? I haven't really looked at it from this this angle. Neat. And the roads don't seem as sporadic and crazy when you look at it from this view, as they do uh, as they do from the other views. Man, I need to use I need to use this angle more often. This this really makes this game look awesome. That's that's a really cool effect. But when you're building, you pretty much need to be three quarter. It's the way to go. Hey, somebody's putting in a little shop down here. Can you actually see what it is? That's one thing I haven't really been paying attention to. Neighborhood shop. Still big residential demands, so let's keep it up down here. I don't know how far out these, uh, these high efficiency or high land value zones go, but we'll keep building it out this way a bit. Oh, what do you know people built there? They built tiny little houses there. Neat. I'm proud of you guys. I'm really proud. So I wonder... I wonder if I could... do something like this. It's gonna kill that power line, isn't it? It's not saying that it is. Nope. Slope too steep. And this way as well, I assume. What if it's a straight road? It will do it, but it's gotta go all the way to the top there, huh? Oh yeah, and then you can fill in houses there. Okay, that's that's the idea. That's the ticket. Alright, why why do we keep predicting the end of the world? This is this is worrying me. I feel like there's an underlying meaning to this. I don't want to destroy their houses. They were the pioneers! Okay, I'm probably gonna chew up most of the residential demand for a little while by doing this. But I think that's a good idea. Oh, power. How do you guys not have power? You were so close. You were so close. I should have just put in more commercial there so they would fill it in. Yes, yes, with the timber industry. Jeez, aloo. Oh, that looks awesome, the way it curves the houses into the hills like that. 
That's really cool. That's one of the things that was seriously missing in all the SimCity games. Is with houses like on cliff sides and stuff like that, they would just flatten out the land. This looks really cool. A little worried that this pollution is going to start to affect over here. Uh, we may have to move this over eventually. I'll keep an eye on it, but it seems like it's creeping that way to me. Let's make this into a district, though. Let's do this as the official district of Baytona. We'll go all the way through here to the commercial zone, too. For future expansion. I don't know why I said expansion so weird. Uh, let's get rid of some of that, though. We don't need the water to be a district, do we? Uh, let's keep going this way, because I think I'm going to keep going this way. And... Let's see. Has it named it yet? I'm not a big fan of that name. So let's... Bring that up, and this will be Baytona Cliffs. I like it. A lot of adults here. Not many young adults. Uh, good amount of children. So, so just, uh, just your normal families, it looks like. Policies over here. Uh, smoke detector distribution is on. Recreational use, we could do that over here. Uh, let's not, though. Pet ban, I don't want to do that. Slightly reduced uh, garbage accumulation, that's not enough for a reason. Uh, I don't really see any big things to do over here that would uh, really help them. This is something I might do with this area in the future, but we need 6,500 people. We're not quite there yet. My hashtag cat was just saved by a hashtag smoke detector. Thank you, at Fire Department. Hey, that was that was me. That wasn't the Fire Department. Man, residential just went crazy again. I can't get people in here fast enough. I think I'm probably going to have to expand in the normal residential area, too. I'm just doing some crazy little <laughs> cliffside houses now. It's just fun. All right, so we'll expand a little bit through here as well. Just the normal residential area. Uh, but, I mean, this area is up and coming as well. And they can kind of share this commercial zone. You guys don't have enough workers still? I guess anytime you have residential demand, they're going to say that. Pretty much. So we have a unique building, or a couple unique buildings available to us. The the uh, department store is very expensive. 150000 That's not going to happen. And 2800 a week, so that's that's certainly far into the future. I'm going to put this right here. That's 10000 Never mind. Uh, eh. Uh, no. No, let's not get carried away with our money. We'll wait for that. Maybe we'll do some more parks, because I'm a little worried about the uh, the happiness in this zone, the leisure in this zone. Uh, and that's what I was going to do that unique building for. So yeah, let's maybe just do a park. And let's do... These, these seem like a tennis kind of people, don't they? I'll have to make them a road, or make a road to connect to it. There we go. That should service most of this area of the residential make them happier. Uh, down here, we don't have anything because they're so far from that. So let's see what we could do down here. Maybe just a little plaza or something. 15,000. These things are so expensive. Uh, this this little plaza with trees is only 2,500. We'll, we'll do that for now. You know, I see the name Julie Brown a lot in here praising me. What do you want, Julie? What, what are you trying to get from me? Oh, and you're in a commercial. You're actually a business, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, I know what you're trying to get from me. No tax breaks for you. Alright, a small expansion on the industrial zone over here just because they have a demand for it, even though I don't really want to keep expanding this too much because you're killing my grass, guys. You're killing it. So here's something that I had missed before. You can relocate buildings, and we may need to do that with this guy. Let's put him over here where the water pump used to be so that it takes the, the poop away from the nice area. Only costs 500, so no reason not to. That should help with that. I mean, it's a shame we have this nice cliff area over here too, but uh, this is not land that I'm looking to expand upon anytime soon. This over here though, this is some prime real estate and some good racetrack zones. Like having some big elevation changes and stuff, so this is an area I have my eye on. I was already kind of experimenting with it here. You can see 
Uh, the crazy little things you can do with the roads. Uh oh Oh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I broke the things. I broke the things, everybody. It's got no power. There. It's fixed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the poop in your water. I fixed it. Calm down. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Is there, like, a photo mode? Is that something that exists? Can you get rid of everything? I don't see a way to do that. Help me out, people. Is there a photo mode? Like, can you get rid of the UI so you can just take pictures? Alright, well, I think that's actually all the time I have for today. Uh, we didn't quite make it to the next milestone, but we're close. We're getting there. People are upgrading. People are moving in. Things are looking pretty good. I'm real happy with what we started down here. I want to do a lot more of this, like just little remote towns and whatnot. Uh, I'm pretty sure I saw a fire truck headed your way, guy. Y you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'm sure that will begin to become an issue as we move forward. Is that the fire truck right there? Yeah. As we move forward, getting uh, a better coverage of that kind of stuff. Fire, police, schools, whatnot. But in the grand scope of how big the areas can be, it's still pretty small. So I don't think we need to get too carried away just yet. I hear your bus depots and whatnot. But I don't think we're too worried about those just yet because... Uh, a, you're really expensive. And B, we don't really have that much traffic yet, despite my insane roads. Alright, well that'll do it for today. Hope you guys are still enjoying. Thank you for uh, supporting the series. It's been very fun to uh, see people's responses to the poop. Really, just, just the poop. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.